welcome to Crochet Moments episode 44. I'm Helen, I live in Leicester with my husband and my two nightmare children. <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, yes, I love yarn basically, that is my purpose for being here. I knit, I crochet, um, I do a few other bits and bobs as well and um, basically I am a self-confessed yarn addict and I like to try all things with yarn. So, um, yeah, so let's um, get on with it because I've got a lot to talk about today and I want to try and get in under an hour. Let's see if that happens. So, um, I, first of all, apologise. Last week was supposed to have been an announcement video for my blanket along. However, I got busy and forgot. So very sorry so this is the official announcement so on the 1st of Ju June <laughs> I need to say July then on the 1st of June I will try and work out how to get some sparkly letters <laughs> around my head um, 1st of June my make along begins it's a three month make along where I invite you all to make blankets so as you can see from around me I enjoy making blankets <laughs> I would say a good chunk of my projects are blankets as well uh, they're mostly crochet although I have started making a little foray into knitted blankets as well which is good because there is a knitted blanket in one of my pattern books that I really want to make two knitted blankets yes two knitted blankets anyway <laughs> less about me um, so my blanket along that's what I call it runs from the 1st of June to the last day in August and I wanted to say the 31st and I have remember last year I had to look that up because I am terrible with <laughs> dates I know there is a whole rhyme to remember but I can't remember the rhyme <laughs> you go there that's how silly I am 31 days in August there you go so what is a blanket along I've got considerably more um, subscribers now than I did before I have just hit 200 um, literally today uh, this is Friday the 27th literally today I got a new subscriber and um, so hello <laughs> Yes, so my blanket along. I think it's fun to make blankets. I think it's fun to make things together. Anyway, blanket along. So I am going to make the um, Winter Wonderland blanket and I haven't printed the pattern out because you know me, I am not at all prepared. So this is a paid for pattern by Anna Marie Soros of One Skein of Love. It is absolutely gorgeous. I am following the colourway by, I've not saved her name. There was a blogger I found, I really liked her colour combination, greys and cream, whites, or was it creams, and a bit of red in there as well. Uh, so I'm copying that, <laughs> basically, <laughs> basically. That is what I am doing. Um, it's a fantastic project. Let's try zooming in a little bit. Let's try going that way around so you can see a little bit of detail. So we've got um, some snowmen in there. There's some reindeer. And just it's just a very wintry looking, Christmassy looking blanket. So Simon bought me the yarn for that at for my birthday because it was my 40th this year he treated me to some lovely yarn and I have kept it there and I thought that's my blanket along that's my blanket along although I've got so many blankets on the go I could probably just try and finish one of those <laughs> so the rules uh, be subscribed to my channel because um, I will check <laughs> um, I have started a hashtag on Instagram it is and I'll have this going along here crochet moments bow 2022 so 
I've just posted a lovely picture. It's not opening. It's not opening. Why aren't you opening? Yes. So there's my little picture. So if you follow me on Instagram, I am at crochet moments. That's crochet dot moments. Um, so that is the hashtag for this make along. If you're not on Instagram, um, then feel free to email me pictures that you would like included in the drawer. My, all my contact details, my email, my social media are all down below in the description box or at the side of the screen, depending on what you're watching me on. So at the first thing in the morning on the 1st of September, I will draw a winner. Now last year, last time there was two prizes, but this year it's going to be one big prize. I am going to mm -hmm. buy a kit for a kit for the Faith blanket pack on um oh gosh it's not so many you'll see it in a minute I'm going to show you it <laughs> I'm working on this so this the Starcraft yarn pack for this blanket so um I love this blanket it's amazing to work and it's open worldwide so I'm happy to post internationally it will be um, economy international so um, don't request tracked <laughs> I'm going to order that this weekend because it was payday today so I'll have the kit to show you next time so like I said to join in I'm all over the place Woo! already it's been one of those days today uh, so yes if you want to join in you can just post all your whip pictures finished object pictures onto instagram or email me and um i do ask that if you are picking up a whip to finish that there isn't more that you're not more than halfway done on the blanket but yes that's something to be aware of um what else is there to think about uh, yeah that's it it would be great if you follow me on Instagram I've got quite a few um, I said quite a few for me quite a few <laughs> followers for that so that is my blanket along and a little small life update really I haven't been really been up to huge amounts um, it's just been quite busy at work um, the girls have been at times nightmares let's be honest uh, so Catherine is 11 going on 15 and um, Emily is six she just turned six going on three <laughs> given the tantrums we've had from her this week she's um, bless her she's not very well today she's had a she woke us up at 5 a.m. this morning saying she had a tummy ache and then um, promptly threw up all over the landing so I was looking after poorly child Simon was cleaning carpets at 5 a.m this morning so I'm, that is why I'm probably not quite my best and I've got suitcases under my eyes anyway <laughs> next weekend is jubilee weekend in the UK I'd love to hear what your plans are my plans what am i doing well we are planning on going on a hike in the peak district again we went when did we go a few weeks ago now and i might see if i can do a little bit of vlogging um because we've got a couple of things planned for next weekend because it's a four day weekend for me so um we're also planning on taking the girls for a trip to the local zoo which is twycross zoo that's our nearest zoo it's been a couple of years since we've been because of covid so i'm looking forward to going and uh, they've got a new gruffalo um area to go and explore and emily loves the gruffalo and catherine loved the gruffalo as a, a smaller child so while she keeps saying oh, gruffalo it's for babies i think um, secretly she's looking forward to it <laughs> so what have i been working on i have one finished object two new starts i do have a small 
small little project of Catherine's to show you. She's um, she asked to learn to crochet. Um, so I'll start with that actually. Uh, yes, Catherine was watching me working on my faith blanket, which I'll show you in a moment. And um, she was like, "Mummy, is that hard to do?" Well, it's it's not hard for me because I've been crocheting for a number of years now. And um, she says, "Can can I have a go?" Well, okay. <laughs> She can knit, so um, I thought I'd give her a shot. <laughs> she, she doesn't stick to things though. So she did learn to knit and got quite into it and then lost all interest. <laughs> so hasn't picked a knitting needle up in ages. So I was quite surprised when she asked if she could do some crochet. So this is her little effort. It's not a bad go. This is just using a little, some of my scraps. She went through and got a colour that she liked. This is actually, I think this might be some Red Heart. I bought some Red Heart years and years ago and I never finished using it. Um, I've got about half a ball left. I can't even remember what project I was using it on. But uh, yes, it's... <laughs> so cute um, so she just wanted she did say oh I could make a little granny square every day and sew them together to make a blanket this is the only gran granny blanket she a uh, granny square she has made since last weekend I kind of expected that so <laughs> I'm not going to say anything but that Okay, on to my finished object. Now I know that um, a lot. I've had a lot of positive comments about this project and I can't wait until next week when I can give it to her recipient <laughs> who is my uh, manager at work. Um, she might be my manager but I kind of like her as a friend as well so it's not like I'm not I'm not creeping for any special favours or anything uh, before anyone suspects, but here she is. Here's Lyra, the elephant. Oh, she's so cute. I love her so, so much. And if you are a long time viewer of my programme, uh, of my program of my channel <laughs> you will know I have had struggles <laughs> with some of my amigurumi attempts and um, this is as close to perfect as I think I can get there's very little wrong her head is a little bit askew not so much that it's very noticeable um, I think I probably could have sewn her ears on a little bit closer to the head to help keep them held open. Uh, they do keep wanting to turn like that so you can't see the pink. But I'm so proud of myself for this project. Just it's this is all done in um, acrylic DK. I use a three millimeter hook. Um, I do have to keep molding this um, the trunk up a little bit. I did give up on the tail, so she doesn't have a tail. But I don't think she's she lacks anything for not having a tail. So the tail is um, a tube of of um, I think it's four stitches round, and I just couldn't get it looking very neat. And um, I just thought, do you know what? I'm going to skip the tail and she'll be fine. But I can't wait to give her to my manager on Monday morning. <laughs> She's so cute. So this is Alira the Elephant. It's a free pattern that I found on Craft Passion. Let's find her front page. So the pattern comes um, in a, a sort of little baby boy and a little girl pattern style. So a dress and a nappy. 
trunk up or trunk down now I have to do trunk up because it is in my manager's culture that trunk up is lucky so if it was trunk down she wouldn't have accepted it although I do think the trunk down looks quite elegant um, so yes there's a free pattern I still haven't been able to determine the designer's name <laughs> but head over to craft passion um, it, is it is linked the pattern is linked below um, as are all patterns that I can find links for but it's just the the pattern itself is really great to follow now I did show a little bit before it's, um, so just the, the photo illustrations now you don't normally get this much detail in instructions for a free pattern you usually get that level of detail in a paid for pattern so to have this sort of detail that's just amazing and she is amazing I love her so much <laughs> I always want to keep her but um, I'm already having to make a second one I don't want to have to make a third <laughs> because um, I'm very much a one person uh, one time project maker I do like uh, um, making one thing then moving on to the next I, I I struggle sometimes I'm the only thing I make over and over and over again on my plain vanilla socks which is just normal stockinette so socks with a standard heel standard toe just normal rib they're my go-to for I'm um, sitting in the car because I don't have to look at my hands when I'm knitting okay so let's go with new start so I have two new starts as I said before my first new start is a second elephant for my other friend at work uh, so that one was for my manager this one is for um, the she's the next level down she's the next level up to me next level down from her so so far all I've got done is the body and this is done in I think I could have stuffed it a little bit more at the top I might unpick that top row and stuff stuff it a little bit more I love this yarn so much this is it on the ball this is the Hayfield spirit oh, this is the one thing I don't like about the yarn it does fall off so this is where's the ball band here it is so the Hayfield spirit it's 100 grams now unusually for 100 grams of de acrylic DK there are th 345 meters of yarn in 100 grams it's usually about 300 meters um, it is an actually it's not 100% acrylic it's 80% acrylic 20% wool I don't have the name of the color so this is just the, sh the shade color love this yarn so so much um I, I, these this is yarn i just bought on a whim when i went to hobbycraft when they first opened in leicester and i still haven't really decided what to use the purple one on for the rest of the wool that the yarn that i have for it i have made a decision on the other yarn that i bought which was this shade uh, so yeah oh um the yarn so the gray is dove from the aldi dk the pink is from an ages old um half a ball of yarn that i had in my stash oh gosh there's a hair on the problem with crocheting when you have long hair you end up crocheting half of yourself in there and the white again is just yarn that i had in my stash without a ball band so I couldn't tell you what it was and she keeps falling over because I've popped her on a let's sit her in front of me like she can watch me do the video hello Elira yes yeah, so, so the white was just half a ball of stash white 
<laughs> I am running low on whites. I do need to get some more because white's one of those colours that you get through quite a lot, especially if you do amigurumis. So my next new start is another crochet along. I do like my crochet alongs. Uh, this one um, is the newest crochet now crochet along. It is designed by Tony Lipsy of TL Yarn Crafts. And this is the piece of cake crochet along. Now this is fantastic um, looking at how it's set out if you are um, just starting out in crochet I want to learn new stitches new techniques because each square there's a very easy version of the square and a slightly trickier version of it so if you wanted to if you were a beginner and wanted to improve your skills it looks like it's designed for that as well so uh, the first two squares uh, there's a v-stitch square I mean how simple is a v-stitch and then a petal stitch, which does look like there's a little bit more involved. But I can't wait. So I am using stash yarn. I've shopped my stash. These bright colours are here because this is what Emily decided she wanted to learn to crochet with. And she succeeded in just making a mess. <laughs> but she does like bold, bright colours. But I am using stash yarn, so the sample here is sort of quite citrusy colours, aren't they really? The green, the yellow, the orange. I am using various shades of pinks and purples that I had in my stash. So I've got some cream. Now I do have two types of cream. I am hoping I can get away with that <laughs> because I'm promised Simon to use my stash and only buy yarn if I have to. I already broke that rule. <laughs> so, um, so yes, yeah, so we've got um, the Aldi cream and Aldi almond. There's very little difference in the two colours. So I think as long as I don't put the squares next to each other, or um, I don't have sort of half a square in one colour and half a square in the other. I think I could probably get away with it. So, um, oh gosh, I'm also using, oh, all my yarn is rolling away. Some Aldi grape. I love this colour. And lavender oh get it the right way round some of this lovely Deramore's anti-pilling DK this is rosewood where is it oh there it is <laughs> and obviously because they're stash yarn that some of the balls have been started um, I just need full colours it's a full colour blanket the main colour, which, um, obviously, so the cream is the colour that its border is in. So um, that's the one you use the most of. Uh, so you just need a, two or three balls of each of these colours. So this is, oh, we've already shown the lavender. One, two. Oh, yes, I've shown all four. <laughs> so I am almost finished my first square so you are making two squares of each square that is going to be in the issue so you'll be making four squares a month and um, one in each colour basically so here is my v-stitch let's just pull that off the yarn all a little bit and I'm quite pleased that I am getting gauge straight off without having to worry about blocking. So it is supposed to be 20 and a half centimetres square and that is 20 and a half centimetres width. So I just have to keep going until I get to the right height. So I'm very, very pleased with that. I'm not sure whether or not to block 
Um, I very rarely block with blankets, but I'm not sure what other stitches there are going to be. So there are probably going to be some patterns that will benefit from a little blocking. I do know how to block, I just choose not to, <laughs> which is very naughty, I know. But I'm looking forward to seeing how this progresses and obviously you never know I might learn some new stitch patterns um, I'm always up for a challenge but this one like I said is it does look like it'll be a great one for someone who's fairly new to crochet and just wanting to expand their knowledge a little bit so those are my new starts so let's talk whips so let's go for my nearest whip. <laughs> I do normally have everything at my feet, but um, because Emily's been at home today, the living room is looking more like a toy room <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> Obviously with sickness and diarrhea, you can't go into school for, um, is it 24 or 48 hours these days? I forget. Anyway. So in my lovely bag that my wonderful subscriber Sofity made for me, all the way in Australia. Catherine still hasn't successfully stolen this from me. <laughs> in here is living my 10 stitch blanket. This is a knit blanket and I am using the Hayfield Spirit again. Again, I can't remember the name of the colour on this, but I'm basically just going until I run out of yarn. And if I have, if I don't feel it's big enough, I'll go and buy some more of this until it's big enough. <laughs> but it's already getting to a quite a good size, actually. I mean, I'm barely halfway through a ball and I'm trying to work out how to hold this so I don't lose my needle out of my stitches. That's the wrong side. <laughs> there we go. I love how this is working up. Love how the colours work together um, and it's just going to make just a really fun blanket. So that's something else for me to work on over the next three months. So I do um, use a decision wheel to help me choose which um, projects to work on. I'm not sure whether or not just to do a blanket wheel and only work on my blankets for the next three months. But then that will neglect some of my other projects that I really need to get working on as well. I'll have, I will be putting some stitches in all of my blankets over the next few months. But it doesn't matter if I don't get anything finished because I can't win my prize. <laughs> so that's the 10 stitch blanket. This is a free pattern again. And its design is Frankie's Knitted Stuff. I'll link the pattern down below. Um, it's apparently inspired by Elizabeth Zimmerman's baby blanket in the Opinionated Knitter made up of wide L-shaped strips of garter stitch sewn together but this is done in a way so there's no sewing. There's no sewing at all. You pick up as you go round and you get this lovely spiral of stitch, garter stitch and it's very mindless. It's one of those projects you really don't need to think about until you get to a corner. <laughs> As I discovered, I had to rip back a whole corner because I started the corner going that way and then it went way. <laughs> it was quite funny, although it, I didn't laugh at the time because <laughs> it was such a silly mistake to make. Okay, so some of the other projects I've been working on over the last couple of weeks. I've been work so I part oh what part was it oh it's still connected oh let's oh gosh have I just pulled things out no I haven't <laughs> I thought I'd pulled stitches out then so this is the half side cow that I'm about to show you this is a mystery crochet along by expression fiber arts it's a free pattern again 
um, and each month you get a new section to download and that will um, you don't get a picture alongside the pattern so you, until you finish you don't really know what it's going to look like although part four was really easy because it was just double crochet US double crochet um, all the way around <laughs> so that's pretty much all I did so I've repeated the center color to go around and for some reason it is curling a little bit um, I'm not 100% sure of my tension or anything like that I'm, I'm not sure if I started it with a four millimeter hook and then carried it on with a four and a half <laughs> I don't know but I am enjoying it uh, again I'm just going to grab balls of yarn out of my stash this um, is for the warmer colors so let's just show you this central panel I really like the laciness of the central panel it's a really beautiful pattern and um, it's apparently going to be inspired by a quite um, familiar quilting pattern. I'm not a quilter, so I wouldn't be able to tell you what the pattern was. But I'm just going to work through as many of my warm colours as I have in my stash. I will repeat some of the colours. yarn bath going everywhere I've got oh gosh it's all it's all happening <laughs> yarn bath is the little bits of chunks of yarn that come out I like to center pull because then I'm not sending yarn everywhere I do occasionally cake my yarn up I do have a yarn and caker yarn caker yarn winder that's that's the more appropriate word um gear, brain into gear today helen so yes yeah, so that's that project now i'm keeping both because it's the same as um from the same company i'm keeping both my mystery crochet along and my mystery knit along in the same bag so my mystery knit along part five has been released so that is what i've been working on on my knitting days this week let's make sure I've got it facing the right way now I have made a couple of boo-boos in this <laughs> um, so when you transition from one color to the next I think this I, th I think this one is the one that I did properly <laughs> the very first one it's supposed the colors you have some slipped stitches going through and this is colours just peeping through some little eyelet type holes. I've, I've been creative. <laughs> I, I, I've forgotten to change the colour when I should have done. So it's not quite how it should be but I don't care. I like the look of it and it's getting rather big on my needles. Uh, wait, I'm just started to turn a corner can't remember which side the corner is it's it's literally just two rows ago I turned started turning the corner so um, as you can see I'm going through these colors now I used this color in the blanket but then I've picked it out for my piece of cake crochet along so I don't know if I'm going to repeat that purple um in there so it may just stay as blues after that little bit of <laughs> purple maybe i could just have a little bit of purple the other end i'll have a good idea of how i'm doing with the purple closer to the end of this blanket so here is part five if i can try and spread it out without losing stitches from the needle it's a lacy pattern. I did make some count errors in the first section of lace at the bottom, but all the counts for these ones are right. So it's just a very basic lace, which is, let's face it, all I can handle as far as lace is concerned. I always make mistakes on lace. It is, along with colour work, it is something I do want to master or at least 
get myself to a point that I don't look at a pattern and think I'm going to make loads of mistakes in that but that's never stopped me before <laughs> I, I am one of those um, crafters that I will just jump into a pattern I don't care how complicated something looks I will have a go and I never feel bad if I have to rip it rip it out and choose a different pattern to work on uh, it's it's all part of the learning curve isn't it making friends with the frog so that's that whip what other whip so my last whip that I've been working on living in my Bella Kayans bag I love this bag the little stars actually glow in the dark and it's great for day out knitting this is my out and about socks because I can just walk around with the ball of yarn in there socks in my hand and knit away so in here is da, 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 da. Simon's second sock is getting along really well. I got some knitting done on Saturday. I was at um, an event at the church that my brownie, as I help out at a rainbow and brownie unit, we were having sort of campfire singing and while we were waiting, I just sat and did some knitting. <laughs> Wait for our turn to start singing. So I've been working on Simon's sock. This is his second sock. I am uh, da -da -da -da, about 30 rows, 20, 30 rows into his foot. I need to do another 35 rows, I think it is. What I've been doing is, as I was crocheting his foot, first sock, I popped a stitch marker every 10 rows. So every 10th row, I remove the stitch marker from this sock and put it in this sock. So then I know that at least I'm getting close. <laughs> Simon's feet are too big. <laughs> How do you shrink a man's feet? <laughs> he does need smaller feet. Especially if he wants lots of pairs of socks made for him because... At the moment, Emily's going to be the biggest beneficiary of the, the socks that I make because her feet are the smallest and I can get a pair done very quickly. So those are all my whips and I'll better sort my incoming stuff out. It's not all my whips. I haven't shown my faith, cow. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this is the faith cow it is a free pattern and this is the blanket that you will get the yarn for if you win my blanket along make along blanket along make along let's just call it blanket along i did last year and um i love this blanket i haven't got a lot done because the rounds are so big now they take around 45 minutes to complete even a very straightforward round so <laughs> these are getting here it is here it is so this one is being made in the the luxury yarn pack which is the starcraft naturals bamboo and cotton yarn and i love this yarn so much i will be making more things with this yarn just not a blanket because the kit for this yarn, for this blanket, is £75. Um, however, uh, the kit I'm, I will be sending out is the Starcraft one with the acrylic. The Starcraft Special DK. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but um, it's a free to download pattern. You can download it in US terms or UK terms. So in with your um, prize, I will pop the link to where you can download the patterns from. It comes in nine parts. So I am at the end of part six. So that's the sort of, so I'm just over the halfway mark, I think. 
I think I counted about, I've got about 30 rounds left to do on this blanket. So potentially if they, that's about 30 to 40 hours worth of work <laughs> still to go in this blanket. Um, but I love it so much. And each step there's, you know, she's beautiful details in each step and it's fairly simple stitches done in such a way that makes things look a lot more intricate than they really are. Uh, that is the best thing about the Helen Shrimpton patterns. I do love a lot of her blankets and I will be def <laughs> I will definitely be making more of her blankets as and when I get down my whip pile and my things I want to make pile <laughs> and maybe make get I don't need permission to buy yarn from Simon but I do see his point that I have a bookshelf full of yarn and three large totes full of yarn sort of the um I don't know what sort of size bags you can get over the in in your wherever you live but the some of the bags for life you can get in the UK are sort of they're sort of that sort of wide <laughs> and they, they sit about that you that deep and that high and I've got three totes full of that as well as bookshelf full of yarn and I have two full plastic tubs of hand dyed yarn so <laughs> I need to get down it <laughs> and then I buy more yarn because that's what I've done so oh let's for the last at least a month as I've been scrolling through my Facebook feed the same advert has been popping up and every time I see the advert that looks quite good interesting I'm intrigued and it is an advert for a company called knit in a box this is like a subscription box for um, knitters basically and in you they have several different types of subscriptions they have one for children they have one for babies they have ladies they have accessories and they also do one-off boxes as well now I am so overwhelmed with knit and crochet projects that I want to do, I did not want to subscribe to the box. But the one-off boxes are open to non-subscribers too. And they have lit... <laughs> I think I just hit the cut-off date <laughs> for this particular box. So this is um, Father's Day themed so it's knits for men and um given what i got in the box i'm very impressed with the price so the box well boxes because it came in two boxes um cost 39 pounds 99 pence i think i did pay shipping i can't remember but shipping wasn't terribly expensive either <laughs> um and you basically you get pretty much everything you need except for needles to make a project and this was a mystery project because it's technically a mystery box and you get gifts yarn patterns so um without further ado i'll show you oh. so here is here's the boxes that it came in so, happiness inside and knit in a box this is what it looks like it's a bit like I said, Emily's been at home, so everything's covered in glitter and all sorts of things. So this is the box. And I've got two, the, the, the whole package came in two parcels. And I can't remember which one I put the, I think this is top one is the main box. So, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Now it comes packed 
in tissue paper, just like the Crochet Society boxes. This is amazing. If I hadn't got uh, so many projects in line to be worked on, I would definitely consider subscribing to this box. That's all I'm saying. I'm not sponsored. I haven't been contacted by them and asked to promote this. This is just something I have come across on Facebook and I've ordered it for myself to see what it's like because I love trying these sorts of things. So if you know of any companies that do this kind of thing that doesn't have to be done as a subscription that I can sort of just buy the one box to see what it's like, do recommend them because like I said, I'm, I'm all for trying these things out. So you get a lovely little card to say thank you. And it's a little baby hand holding a daddy hand and it's lovely, it's so cute. It's never really like that, is it? <laughs> But, um, yep, yeah, and on the back is a list of what you get so that you can check that everything's in there. So you get two patterns. So these, these are Starcraft patterns uh, for the Highland Heathers Aran yarn. So there's lovely cabled cardigan and a cabled jumper. Simon's asked for the jumper, not the cardigan. He's not a cardigan wearer, but Catherine likes the cardigan. <laughs> but, but I'm not sure if I can get away with making her a, card, a man's cardigan in a man's size because I think they start at a... They start at 36 inch chest, which I think might be a little bit large for her. Maybe. I'll make it and see. If, it, if it's too big for her, it'll probably fit me. <laughs> so. And um, you also get a enamel camping mug. Off on an adventure. So Catherine's already laid claim to this because she's going camping with the girl guides in a couple of weeks and she needs a non-breakable mug. So... She's already said she's having that. There was some some chocolate that got munched. I munched that, sorry. <laughs> it was just some little treat sized chocolate. There's some toffees in here somewhere. I haven't eaten those yet. Maybe they're in the other box. So you also get a little bag with the buttons. And these are really nice buttons don't know if they'll really show up but they're a navy blue with a slightly lighter blue swirling in them uh, there's one two three so there are five buttons here for the jumper I think I'm only going to need three of them but I really like those they're very nice and they go with the yarn very very nicely too Close that. I get an Earl Grey tea bag from the English tea shop. Not the biggest fan of Earl Grey. A pack of playing cards, which now I've shown you, I can open them and teach the girls how to play cards. There's a number of card games I think they'll probably be able to play now. And then you get all the yarn you need to make one item either the cardigan or the jumper up to a large so I've got seven balls of this beautiful Highland Heathers Aaron absolutely love this so so nice this um, this is the shade uh, is it Ken? Khan? there's the C-A-I-R-N I'm not sure Anyway, so you've got, so in this box, I've got four balls. And in the other box, I've got three balls. So there's the seven balls. I also have, oh, there's the toffees, some toffees. A little pack of um, stitch holders.
and a, a two millimeter and a five millimeter cable needle. And I'm always losing cable needles, so these will always come in handy. Uh, I'm terrible for losing like the, the little needles like this. I'm amazed I haven't lost any DPNs so far. So far. So that's knitting a box. Um, obviously, this is the one-off box. And I do plan on keeping an eye on um, them for to see what the other boxes are that they do as one-offs because I really enjoy I really do feel that I've got value for money there uh, I haven't looked at how much this yarn is retail which is probably what I should have done before I started this is about three or four pounds a ball depending on where you shop Wool well, Warehouse has it at 2 a ball and then you've got the patterns. Those retail at around two to three pounds each for a physical copy. So, and then you've got the extra bits as well. I think it's a lovely value box. And I look forward to trying some of the other boxes in the future on one-off basis. <laughs> I'm really conscious that I've been going on forever. <laughs> oh, I have had my Knit Now and my Crochet Now magazines. I'll maybe go through those next time because it's getting a bit long. But I can't let you go without showing my subscription yarns. I've had my Attic Spin Dye subscription arrive. And I've had my Orchidine yarn oh, subscription arrive. So let's start with my Orchidine luxury yarn. This is a, I do this as a two monthly subscription. You can have it every month. You can have it every other month like I do or every third month. And I love this. This is called Sophia Blue. And it says entirely dyed by. So I don't know if that means it has been dyed by somebody called Sophia. <laughs> I don't know. There was no other information. Uh, the stitch marker has vanished, which means the girls have been playing with it. I love that blue. Look at those speckles of blue and green. And it's just, oh, it's beautiful absolutely beautiful i'm good i have all of this sock yarn it's all fingering weight sock yarn <laughs> that i'm subscribed to um well I can... socks and shawls what can i say i like making socks and shawls so i can always make those i am trying to find some crochet patterns for using some of my hand dyed yarns but i because i only buy single skeins it's sort of something that I need to be aware of that um, either I can mix colours for it or not. Anyway, I'm just wittering on and I need to get on with this Attic Spin Dye. <laughs> now we all know I'm a big fan of Attic Spin Dye and um, I'm looking forward to seeing. So later on this month, I am going to the Wool Monty in Sheffield. I don't care what happens. I'm getting in my car and I'm going to the Wool Monty. I don't care. That's that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> if I have to go myself and film and photograph stuff myself, Simon's my photographer. <laughs> he he's he's good with cameras. And uh, then that's what I'm going to do because. I, I just I love buying yarn in flesh and there's several colours I, I need to restrict myself to not only buying one or two because there are so many other dyes out there that I really want to experience <laughs> unfortunately there's not as much money in my bank account as there should be <laughs> for buying yarn <laughs> Anyway, this is the bird of the month subscription. It is the J and it is beautiful. It 
is absolutely stunning. I love this so much. It's it's so beautiful. And uh, oh yes, there's a little tiny stitch marker there. A leaf. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> and yeah. But um, Andy and his wife Angela are fantastic people to just have a chat to as well. So the other subscription they do that I also get because I'm mad and incorrigible <laughs> is the Alice in Wonderland um, subscription. So with the Alice in Wonderland you get a really beautiful lavender pouch and that's got some Alice with a flamingo on there and a few other Alice scenes. A little story card to tell you what chapter it is. So we're on chapter five, Advice on a Caterpillar. And a really pretty themed stitch marker. So obviously in Alice in Wonderland, the caterpillar is sat on a toadstool or mushroom. Is it a mushroom or a toadstool? I always get confused. That's a really cute stitch marker. I love that so much. I love that so much. And the yarn. The yarn is called Blue Caterpillar. And here it is. It's, oh, this would make absolutely beautiful socks. It needs to be a pair of socks. And the next pair of socks I make for myself, this is in the running. <laughs> Out of all the colours that I own, this is in the running to be a pair of socks for me. Although I'm dem I'm really, really, really excited to get into my um, Rosie's Moments surprise ball that I bought from Bakewell Yarn Show. So that is... Let's say that's all my incoming for now because I have a secret giveaway. So if you are have made it this far through the video, um, I want to celebrate hitting 200 subscribers. And for those of you mad enough to get to the end, uh, I would love um, you to tell me your starter stories. How did you get into the craft that you do. How did you learn to knit? How did you learn to crochet? If you do both, I love to hear both stories. And um, so I personally, I was taught to knit at age nine by my mum. And um, I taught myself to crochet from a book about five years ago. I think Emily was quite small when I first started crocheting. So yeah, that's my start a story in a nutshell I will go into more details maybe in the next episode when I announce the winner in my next episode <clears throat> and the prize will be a pattern of your choice so um, within spending limits um, if there's a pattern you've got your eye on in Ravelry or an you know a downloadable pattern I will buy that and give it to you so all I will need from you, if you win, will be your email address and um, that will be a fairly inexpensive way for me to reward you for being such a loyal subscriber. Uh, so yes, yeah, so in the comments below, tell me your stories. I love to hear people's stories and um, hopefully I'll get to win, give away a prize. And um, so that's it for now. Uh, Simon will be complaining because it is 10 minutes to nine in the evening although I was late starting filming this today because Emily's put a st still a little bit unwell so I will see you all again in a couple of weeks I look forward to starting to see all of your um, pictures in my hashtag crochet moments bell 2022 and I shall see you soon bye <laughs>